बार बार एग्जाम दे रहे हैं और रिजल्ट नहीं आ रहा है और इतना अच्छा स्कोर नहीं आ रहा है स्पीकिंग में बार बार फेल हो रहे हैं जो सबसे ईजी सेक्शन है क्या करें कैसे करें बार बार एग्जाम देने के बाद भी स्कोर नहीं आ रहा है किस तरह से बोले कोई कह रहा है बड़ा तेज बोलना है कोई कह रहा है कि आराम से बोलना है कोई कह रहा है कि चीख के बोलना है कोई कह रहा है धीमे से बोलना है तो आप बिल्कुल परेशान हो चुके हैं अलग अलग तरीके से आपने एग्जाम दे दिए हैं और अभी अब का रिजल्ट नहीं आ रहा है जस्ट मैसेज मी आज एस की यू टिप फॉर दैट जस्ट सेंड मी योर ऑडियो दैट अ स्पेशल ऑफर फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू मुझे अपनी ऑडियो भेजिए आज जस्ट चेक आउट यूर ऑडियो ऑनलाइन एंड जस्ट की वैल्यूएशन ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ टू यू सो आई जस्ट टेल यू कि कितना टाइम आपको लगने वाला है हाउ मेनी फैक्टर्स एंड द सेक्टर्स यू हैव टू वर्क फॉर सो एवरी टाइम आई एम जस्ट रेडी फॉर यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट अ वैरिज कोड इन यू पी जस्ट कॉल मी एंड जस्ट मैसेज मी एनी टाइम हैव अ नाइस डे बाय बाय वन यू गेट हायर समवेयर थिंक अबाउट द कंपनी एंड थिंक अबाउट द कल्चर डज इट मैच हु यू आर फॉर मी आई लव डेविएशन एंड आई डिसाइडेड दिस इज वेयर आई बिलोंग but the culture where i was didn't exactly match what i wanted to do i'm not saying that a culture is good or bad because you can't think of culture in terms of countries you can think of culture in terms of parts of the country east coast versus west coast i'm a west coast person that is also part of my culture piece which was also a bit of a challenge because where i ended up was on the east coast When you get hired somewhere, think about the company and think about the culture. Does it match who you are? For me, I loved aviation and I decided this is where I belonged. But the culture where I was didn't exactly match what I wanted to do. I'm not saying that a culture is good or bad because you can't think of culture in terms of countries. You can think of culture in terms of parts of the country, East Coast versus West Coast. I'm a West Coast person. That is also part of my culture piece which was also a bit of a challenge because where I ended up was on the East Coast. And over the more than decade on which I've slowly worked on this book, there have been lots of little modern case studies. that in a sense have given me new insight into what happened in the past so it's been an interesting exercise writing this book it's been difficult i have to say to fit academic research in with a career that's been increasingly administrative because to undertake good research i think most researchers would say they need quite a lot of time to engage in the research And over the more than decade on which I've slowly worked on this book, there have been lots of little modern case studies that in a sense have given me new insight into what happened in the past. So it's been an interesting exercise writing this book. It's been difficult, I have to say, to fit academic research in with a career that's been increasingly administrative because to undertake good research I think most researchers would say they need quite a lot of time to engage in the research. So it's this short term trading window at the start of each weekday where for 5 minutes the largest banks in Australia would trade these short term loans these IOUs and by trading them they're kind of saying i'm willing to pay this interest rate or i'm willing to buy this short term loan for this price which helps determine the interest rate and then once that rate is set through that window that is the rate for the day So it's this short term trading window at the start of each weekday where for 5 minutes the largest banks in Australia would trade these short term loans these IOUs and by trading them they're kind of saying I'm willing to pay this interest rate or I'm willing to buy this short term loan for this price which helps determine the interest rate and then once that rate is set through that window that is the rate for the day <laughs> 
The 2016 trial over the Watelli paintings took more than three years to resolve. In the end, the court found that it couldn't be proven beyond a reasonable doubt that the men charged with fraud intentionally deceived the market. Many of those following the trial closely were astounded. Bitterly disappointed. Particularly Brett's ex-wife Wendy Watelli. The 2016 trial over the Watelli paintings took more than three years to resolve. In the end, the court found that it couldn't be proven beyond a reasonable doubt that the men charged with fraud intentionally deceived the market. Many of those following the trial closely were astounded, bitterly disappointed, particularly Brett's ex-wife Wendy Watelli. Consumers, of course, are also keeping an eye on prices, especially at the gas pump. When gasoline topped $3 a gallon last year, many drivers lost their enthusiasm for SUVs and started paying renewed attention to miles per gallon. Another question mark for the industry is whether consumers and policymakers will maintain that focus on fuel efficiency, with gas prices in much of the country now closer to $2 a gallon. Consumers, of course, are also keeping an eye on prices, especially at the gas pump. When gasoline topped $3 a gallon last year, many drivers lost their enthusiasm for SUVs and started paying renewed attention to miles per gallon. Another question mark for the industry is whether consumers and policymakers will maintain that focus on fuel efficiency, with gas prices in much of the country now closer to $2 a gallon. This is a public housing property where we know the property was contaminated through use. The mother, the carer and a daughter that moved into this property, once they realized and remembered that it was drug users being in that property, they asked the housing authority to test and it came back positive. The whole family had a whole bunch of health effects, very consistent between them, respiratory effects, skin rashes, sleep problems, behavioral changes. There's none of these reports of getting any highs or anything nice from methamphetamine. It's all the bad parts of it. This is a public housing property where we know the property was contaminated through use. The mother, the carer and a daughter that moved into this property, once they realized and remembered that it was drug users being in that property, they asked the housing authority to test and it came back positive. The whole family had a whole bunch of health effects, very consistent between them, respiratory effects, skin rashes, sleep problems, behavioral changes. There's none of these reports of getting any highs or anything nice from methamphetamine. It's all the bad parts of it. In Australia, the alcohol industry says it injects $20 billion a year into the economy and creates about 400,000 jobs. It's integral to local economies in some wine-growing areas and regional towns. State and territory governments get about $6.5 billion a year in tax revenue from alcohol sales. What do they get from illegal drugs? Nada, unsurprisingly. Australia has had a national drug strategy to tackle drug-related harm since 2017. But, we've not had a national alcohol strategy for almost a decade and that is seriously getting in the way of us dealing with this problem. In Australia, 
The alcohol industry says it injects $20 billion a year into the economy and creates about 400,000 jobs. It's integral to local economies in some wine-growing areas and regional towns. State and territory governments get about $6.5 billion a year in tax revenue from alcohol sales. What do they get from illegal drugs? Nada, unsurprisingly. Australia has had a national drug strategy to tackle drug-related harm since 2017. But, we've not had a national alcohol strategy for almost a decade and that is seriously getting in the way of us dealing with this problem. Introduction to the History of Psychology begins with a course, Why Study the History of Psychology? And I'd like to discuss several factors that are important to this. Because of course, as a formal discipline psychology came about in about 1879, and we, we tend to say with the founding of Wilhelm Wundt's laboratory in Leipzig, however, we need to also understand that the concerns of psychology all around will before this date, and therefore it helps to look at what historians have to say about how we go back in time and look at our past. So then when one begins to say why study the history of psychology, you can really hone in on four principles. Introduction to the history of psychology begins with a course, Why Study the History of Psychology? And I'd like to discuss several factors that are important to this. Because of course, as a formal discipline psychology came about in about 1879, and we, we tend to say with the founding of Wilhelm Wundt's laboratory in Leipzig, however, we need to also understand that the concerns of psychology all around will before this date, and therefore it helps to look at what historians have to say about how we go back in time and look at our past. So then when one begins to say why study the history of psychology, you can really hone in on four principles. They may be our cousins, but orangutans and other primates are nowhere near humans in terms of technological achievement, social organization, or culture. And it's humans' capacity for building off of one another, an integral part of our so-called cumulative culture, that has allowed us to build up so much in so little time. But how did we develop such advanced methods of learning in the first place? Kevin Lalland of the University of St. Andrews spoke with me about his team's quest to pinpoint the social and cognitive processes that underlie humans' ability to acquire and transmit knowledge. They may be our cousins, but orangutans and other primates are nowhere near humans in terms of technological achievement, social organization, or culture. And it's humans' capacity for building off of one another, an integral part of our so-called cumulative culture, that has allowed us to build up so much in so little time. But how did we develop such advanced methods of learning in the first place? Kevin Lalland of the University of St. Andrews spoke with me about his team's quest to pinpoint the social and cognitive processes that underlie humans' ability to acquire and transmit knowledge. <laughs> 
I agree. I think that it does need some mass action by people to change their habits, and to apply pressure to governments and I there's a message here. Not just for those students who will enroll for the course, but I think for everybody that will listen to this album. This is a problem that affects every single one of us. It's not going to go away, there's a huge problem, and I think that we all have a role to play in addressing this problem. I agree, I think that it does need some mass action by people to change their habits, and to apply pressure to governments and I there's a message here. Not just for those students who will enroll for the course, but I think for everybody that will listen to this album. This is a problem that affects every single one of us. It's not going to go away, there's a huge problem, and I think that we all have a role to play in addressing this problem. This is a story about how we're in the midst of a global extinction crisis. Dozens of species die out around the world each year. It statistically hasn't been this bad since the dinosaurs disappeared 65 million years ago. And it's about the sad reality that Australia is a world leader when it comes to pushing our native animals to extinction. This is exacerbated by a shrinking pool of money available to address it. So this story is about how, in this desperate scramble for that precious conservation dollar, sometimes scientific integrity gets lost. This is a story about how we're in the midst of a global extinction crisis. Dozens of species die out around the world each year. It statistically hasn't been this bad since the dinosaurs disappeared 65 million years ago. And it's about the sad reality that Australia is a world leader when it comes to pushing our native animals to extinction. This is exacerbated by a shrinking pool of money available to address it. So this story is about how, in this desperate scramble for that precious conservation dollar, sometimes scientific integrity gets lost.